So in today's video, I am going to explain the problem solution of problem day, which was recently asking code forces around 891 weighted for division 3. So first let us understand the problem. So the problem name is strong vertices. So what problem has said that we will be given two integer array a and b. Now what and what we can do? We can take any pair i and j such that the difference between the uh, this difference between the i and j of array a is greater than the difference between the elements present at i and j. For example, you have you can see this. For example, in this case, I can clearly say that uh, my array that my element that my index at 2, 1 and 2. Here in this case, differences of array differences of pair 1 comma 2 in array 1 is clearly 2 and difference in this is clearly 4 minus 3 is 1. So here in this case my difference at pair 1 comma 2 is greater than greater than this pair 1 comma 2 from from this pair in array b at 1 comma 2. So if this condition is satisfied then I can make a directed edge from vertex index from vertex i to j. So in this case I have vertex i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 2. So I have so you so here in this case so here by checking all all such pairs you can construct a directed edge graph. So now what problem has said to you that you have to tell how many vertexes are there which connects all the pair. For example in this case I have a vertex 4 which is connected to all the vertexes or I can go from vertex 4 to any other vertex. For example for we can I can go from 4 to 1 or 4 to 2 or 4 to 3 or 4 to 2 again. So here my vertex 4 can lead me to any another any other vertex. So problem what has said that we will giving we will be given such an two integer array and we have to output them how many vertices are there which are connected to every other element. So I think so this problem was worth it only two minutes. So what so why I am saying this? Because here if you can see this array. So if I show you the uh, written part. So here you can see this is my condition which problem is set. So if I write it as like this uh, my a at u minus b at u should be greater than equal to my b at u and a at v minus b and v so i think so i have written only so i have only changed their position so here i can see but so here this so here this condition is this only but i have the just i have only changes the changes their position or i have re rewritten the equation which they have given to you so by seeing this the problem is solved so how can i say this because if i say my array was like this so here I see my array was initially like this and the graph corresponding to it was this only So my graph was this. So what can I see? That my that so what are the adjacent difference? From there you can see the problem I said that if if my adjacent pair so if my adjacent pair uh, have a difference greater than any adjacent any other adjacent pair, then there is a directed end from u to u to v. For example, in this case, my initial difference was minus one. Then my difference was minus two. Then my difference was zero. And then at last my difference was 3. So here you can see my maximum difference is 3. So you can see if my so if you can see my difference is greater than all the other indexes pair. So I can make edge from this to this, this to this, or and this to this. Which means I can make a pair like 1 to 4, 4 to 1 and 4 to 3. Which means my 4 have 4 is having directed edge with all the pairs. From diagram you can also see this my 4 like this, that's like this so my 4 is my initial answer 
so which means if i say you this that first you will you will have to find the differences between adjacent pair so the then the number of indexes which will have the maximum difference between the adjacent pair will be my answer then you can say how is it, how is this possible so if i show you with this this code this simple test case so here you can see in this case i have a so here in this case you can see my adjacent differences was initially minus 4 then 0 and then 1 and then minus 2 and then again 1 so i have my maximum difference as 1 from which from which i can conclude that i can make my edge from this index and this index to every other index because from this equation i can clearly say if my difference is greater than any other difference then i can make edge from this like this like this and and i i can which i have a greater than equal to symbol which means i can also make edge from this to this also similarly i can make edge from this to all the other elements also which means my answer is pretty much clear first i will take the adjacent difference of array 1 and array b then i will check how many how many pair have the maximum adjacent difference then the then the pair which will then the indexes which will be having the maximum indexes pair will be my the answer so if i show you the code the code is pretty much easy first i am taking the both array as input integer a and integer b then i am calculating the adjacent difference between the both the arrays then again then what i am doing i am calculating the maximum of array adjacent i am calculating the maximum of difference array then again i am checking if my if my difference is equal to maximum then i will then then i will push my index at i in my resulting array then at last i will put my size and resulting array so you can see here uh, it is giving my correct output so i think this question was pretty much only observation type and this question should not be ranked as d i think this so i think so this is worth uh, only for rank like b or c in division 3 so this was the problem intuition if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe so till then stay tuned for the next one thank you so and and, and one more part i will bring the problem solution of enf tomorrow so stay tuned for that part also thank you